How's it going everybody? Today we're talking about the affiliate manager in high level and what's awesome is this is just one more subscription that you can get rid of as an ancillary software and just build everything inside of high level, integrate it with your existing automations, etc. What's also very exciting about this video is it's actually a team member of mine that's going to give the tutorial and trust me, I've vetted him. He's even better than me at focusing on just the core important parts of high level and I promise that this tutorial will be up to the standards that you've come to expect from this channel is allowing us to do is just get more of these to you faster. So Ben, all the way from South Africa, is going to give you this tutorial. Take it away, Ben. Thanks, Keaton. Hi, everyone. I'm Ben. In this video, we'll be going over everything to do with the high-level affiliate manager. The high-level affiliate manager is the hub to manage all of the high-level affiliate-related activities, which is campaigns for affiliates, payout for affiliates, and all of this works through custom links. So your affiliate will be assigned a custom link that they would then go and promote your product or your service. And if a customer purchases this through that, then a commission will be rewarded to that affiliate, whatever you set it as. Okay, so this video will be broken down into four parts. The first one being how to set up an affiliate campaign, how to automate affiliate signups, how to automate affiliate payouts, and then what the affiliate sees on their portal, as well as where do they get their link from. I know some of the biggest names in the high level space that are running the entire SaaS business from this high level affiliate manager. And naturally they are using this so they can cut down on another subscription and have it all in the high level ecosystem at one place for one cost. Cool. All right, let's get straight into it. So to begin, you need to have a PayPal integration. So to do this, you're going to go to payment section in your high level uh, desktop version. Then on the top right, you're going to see integration. Click on integration. Then in integration, you'll see PayPal and you'll see a connect button over here. Just click on it. I'll show you how to set up the PayPal from the PayPal account as well, because there are a couple steps, but I'll show you that a bit later. So in order to first create your campaign, you first have to have a product that you want an affiliate to sell. So to do that, go to payments again, then go to products in the top right, click on products again. So once products come up, click on create product. Then over here, you can see you're gonna fill out the product information. So you're gonna give it a title. I'm gonna say Ben's Pizza. Here you can add media if you wanna add a picture to the actual product that you're creating. You can enable product labels or just customize the actual product, add tax. And then here you can set up the price for your product. So you have an option of setting up a one-time product or a recurring product. One time, obviously meaning that if somebody purchases it one time, that they're only paying one time. And then recurring is if it is happening every month or every day or every week, whatever you set it at. So if you click on recurring, you can see you can set the amount. Then you can add a compared price as well. Meaning if you're saying your amount over here is 20, but you're comparing it to 25, it will show the slash over the 25 and showing that it is actually 20 out. Then you can set the billing period, which is how often you want this person to be charged if it is daily. So if you're setting this at 20 bucks and you're saying that the billing period is daily, they're going to be charged $20 every day. Same with weekly, monthly, yearly, or if you have a custom date as well. Then if you want to have a trial period, you just add in a 15 day trial or whatever you want your trial period to be. And then if you're going to include a setup fee and the number of payments, then if you have inventory, if it is a physical item, then you can add inventory tracking as well. And then you can add the price description and membership offer. The membership offer is if you have a product inside your membership or community, you'll toggle this on and then select the actual membership offer that you are offering. Then if you have any variants, you can add the options of size or color as well there. Or if you have any SEO data that you want to add to the product, I'm going to create a one time product and say that it is $100 and then I'm going to click save. So once you have saved the product, you want to add the product to a site or a funnel so that people can actually purchase it now. So to do that, go to sites. Again, you can create a site or a funnel. I'm just going to create a quick funnel. So go to funnels, you can do websites over here. Click on new funnel. So I'm going to say Ben's Pizza Shop. Click create. So once you've added a blank funnel, click on add new step. Call this, maybe you want to uh, call this the checkout page. I'm just going to call it home for now and click on create funnel step. All right, so now in your funnel step, you want to go to products on the right here and you want to add the product that you just created. So in this case, it was Ben's Pizza and then the price was 100 bucks. And then you can set up if this is the main product or if you want to bump the product as well. You're saying if the product should be bumped on the order page. Once you select everything, click on save. You want to add a checkout form inside your actual page now. So go back to overview, click on edit. So this is a blank site, but I'm just going to add 
order form yet. So you're going to click on add element, scroll down. I'm going to add a one step order form and you'll see that it says dynamic item here, but my product was named Ben's pizza rather, and it was a hundred bucks. So this is just the preview mode, but just before you click on save, you also want to connect it to a domain so that you can actually say that it is live and then people can purchase from it. So I'm just going to click on our existing connected domains and then click on save. All right. Then when I press preview, which is that eye icon, it's going to bring me the preview page of this funnel and you'll see that Ben's Pizza has been populated at $100. So now you have created the actual product that you want to sell, you've added it to your site or funnel, and you've added a checkout page so people can actually purchase. Now, the next step is creating an affiliate campaign. So to do that, you're going to come to the left menu, click on marketing, then you're going to click on affiliate manager at the top center of your screen. So just to quickly explain to you what all of these titles mean, so the dashboard, it's pretty simple. It is to give you an overview of your campaign revenue and any affiliate commissions. You'll see that there is all the data you, you'll need or want to see it will be in this dashboard. This will be across all your affiliate campaigns. Then the campaign section. So in the campaign section, this is where you actually create the campaigns for your affiliate programs. And I'll do a walkthrough of this in one second. The next is the affiliates. This is where you'll see all the people that have signed up and what campaigns they have been added to and where they come from. And we'll show you how this works in depth a bit later. All right, the next section is the payout section. It's also pretty simple. It is where you pay out your affiliates. Then second to last is the media section. This is where you add any logos or branding that you want your affiliates to maybe use in their promotion of your product. And then finally, the settings. This is where you can adjust your campaign settings and customize any other parts of it if you would like. But to actually create the campaign, we're going to go back to Affiliate Manager, then the drop down menu to Campaigns. And then we're going to click on that blue add button in the right corner. Let's name our campaign Ben's Pizza Affiliate Campaign. Then the affiliate campaign configuration, this is where we're going to select the source. So in this case, I created a one page funnel. But if you have a website or a form or a survey or even a calendar, that's what you would select over there. So for now, for me, it was a funnel. I'm going to click the funnel that I created, which was Ben's Pizza Shop, and then the page which I only add one page, which was homepage. So if you have maybe a homepage and a checkout page and you've added the product to the checkout page, then in this section, you would select where the product is actually attached to. So it would be checkout at the bottom here, but for me, it was just the homepage. And then this ID you can leave it at it as it is. It's the only option. It just means that it's going to create a unique link to every unique affiliate that signs up. So you see here, this is the link that they will have with their unique ID that will be filled in here. And then you'll see that since I've added the funnel, the product that I've already attached to it will show up at the bottom here. Then I'm going to click on next. All right, then the default commission for all products. So this percentage is how much the actual affiliate will receive after they refer a customer to your product. So if John refers Jack to my pizza shop and Jack purchases a pizza, then John will receive X percentage of the $100. So in this case, I'm going to say is 30%. So we're saying that John now receives 30% of the $100 since he referred Jack to my pizza shop and Jack purchased the pizza. If you see customized commission by product, you can see that if you have multiple products here that you can then say this one is maybe 30%, but the large pizza, which maybe is $150, can set as 40% commission, for example. So it's if you want to individualize each product by commission that you want to set it at for that unique product and click on save, then you'll see advanced commission settings here. So this is where you can set up multiple tiers with custom commissions for each tier. I think, I believe it goes up to seven tiers. Yeah. So if you want to have a two tier commission structure where you're saying that if an affiliate refers an affiliate, which then refers a customer, then that second tier affiliate will receive a percentage of the overall products amounts. So you're saying if the second tier affiliate maybe earns 5%, that means they will earn 5% of the 100%. And obviously the tier one will earn 30% of the 100%. All right, just to add in here as well, if you click the little toggle down on the percentage there, you'll also see that you have the option to set a flat amount instead of a percentage as well. And you'll just click on save. For now, I'm in a one tier campaign. Then you're going to click on next in the bottom right. In the campaign description, this is just where you explain what your campaign is about and maybe entice your affiliates to become an affiliate. You can manually assign an affiliate, which you just click on and then click on the contact and then it will send them an email with, you know, the unique link, which I will also show you what they receive shortly. But there's a better way to do this. If you want to set it up where a person can sign up on a form to become an affiliate then they're automatically added to this campaign which is much better i'll show you how to do that as well but before i do that the advanced or the additional settings you can see that the email template it's 
currently set as a default email template. This email template is just welcoming them to the campaign that they just signed up for or that we have added them to. And then it says that a bit of the campaign details so how much they are receiving in that campaign. If they refer a contact or a customer to my product and then also their unique link that they can then share to people and promote your product with. So you can leave it as default template. It is already quite a nice template. But if you want to have a unique template, then you'll need to go to your email section and create a email template. You can customize it however you like, and then you'd come here and then select the welcome affiliate campaign email here. But for now, we're gonna leave it as default template. And then the cookie life, this is saying how long you want to reference your affiliates. So if you're setting it as let's say 22 days, then you're saying that that unique link that you've now given an affiliate, if they share to, to Jack, and Jack purchases on day 23, then you're saying that that affiliate will not receive a credit for that sale because it is past the, the cookie light. But it's usually fair to set it up uh, for a year just so that if they come a few days or a few weeks later or even months and they purchase through your affiliate links link, that that affiliate will still get the commission. So personally, I would leave it as 365. And then below that, you can see the current payout terms. So you'll see that's set for the 15th of the month of the previous month's earning. So this is where you are setting up a time that the payouts happen. So you can set it out at the 15th of every month from the previous month's earnings uh, after 30 days or 60 days as well. Then below that, you'll see a toggle option. So this is to include the setup fees in the total sales amount and incorporate that into the commission calculations. So once you're happy with all of your details, just click on finish and then click on publish now. Okay, so now that you have your campaign here, Ben's Pizza Affiliate Campaign, you also wanna set up a system where affiliates can automatically sign up to your campaign instead of manually going into the campaign and adding person individually. It would take too much time. So using the automation that High Level provides, we're gonna use it to then create the automatic sequence that a person can then sign up to become an affiliate and automatically add it to this campaign. But before we do that, we first have to have a site or funnel or form that people can sign up from. So in this case, we're gonna to go to sites. I'm just gonna create a form, but usually you would create the form then attach the form to whatever your funnel is or whatever website you have. But I'm just gonna to go to form, click on form builder. Then I'm gonna click on add form start from scratch then you want to name your form at the top it's going to be ben's pizza affiliate sign up form you can actually remove phone because you don't really need that unless you want to collect that data but just the name the last name and the email is fine as well as the consent and okay, at the bottom you can edit this however you want but just click on save then this is just a preview of the form so you're saying that this form when somebody fills it out they will be added to that affiliate campaign but that's only part one of that automation you've actually got to set up the automation now so to do that go back here go to automation and then click on create workflow i'm going to say start from scratch it's a very simple automation and then remember to name your workflow as well i'm going to say ben's affiliate sign up automation then what you want to do is click on add new trigger so adding a trigger means that if somebody does X, Y is going to happen. So in this case, we're saying if somebody's going to fill out that affiliate form, then we're going to add them to the campaign. So to do that, click on add new trigger and type in the search bar form submitted. And then you want to click on the form that you created. So click on add filter and say form is Ben's Pizza Affiliate sign up form. Then click on save trigger. So now what we want to do is we want to say that when that person fills out that form, we're going to add them to the campaign. You can just scroll down to the affiliate section and then click on add to affiliate campaign so we're saying again that once they fill out that form they've been added to this campaign so if you want to add it to an affiliate manager this is saying that when they do fill out that form they're automatically being created as an affiliate in the manager but they're not being added to a specific campaign yet and then if you click on update affiliate you can set it up as marking the affiliate as an active affiliate or as an inactive affiliate so this is just to change the status of your affiliate automatically so adding them to a campaign it's adding them to a campaign but you can do the same by removing them from an affiliate campaign if they have done something or if they're not performing possibly and you want to remove them from the campaign you'll just do that click this button over here and then select the campaign but for now we want to add them to our affiliate campaign 
So we're going to click on it and then we're going to select the campaign, which is Ben's pizza affiliate campaign that I created and click on save action. And then that is it. So you want to come to the top right and click on publish to make it live and then click on save. All right, just to jump in here again, if you click on the search tab, you can actually trigger a waterfall of other automations from this, like notifying your team from Slack, sending more custom emails, more SMSs, or whatever else you want to happen after an affiliate signs up. You can just add it to this campaign. So now we're just going to test it to also see what information the affiliate will receive once they sign up. So we're going to go to sites, then we're going to go to forms, then we're going to click on the form that we created, which was Ben's Pizza Affiliates sign up form and let's just preview it so we can fill out some dummy information so we're going to call it ben we put in the email click on icon sent and then we press probably helps that we spelled it right then we can click on the button then i'll say thank you for taking the time to complete this form so now if we go back to a campaign that we created so we're going to go to marketing campaigns you'll see now that in ben's affiliate campaign one affiliate has been added because the automation has worked now. So let's just check it out by going to affiliates as well. And we'll see that Ben Stutz has been added. There's the email and to the campaign, which is Ben's Pizza Affiliate Campaign. All right, so now they are an official affiliate. So what did the affiliate actually receive? But you'll see it says, hi, Ben. We are happy to have you as part of our, and then the campaign's name. All right, I spelled it wrong. But anyway, Ben's Pizza Affiliate Campaign. You can begin earning commissions by sharing your unique link. So that we'll see that it has generated your unique ID. And then it gives you the details of the campaign, which is the 30%. And then to log into your portal. So this is your affiliate portal. If you click on, copy my email here. So you're going to click on this link here. All right. So when you click the link, it might take you to this page over here. So you might need to sign up. So just put in your name, email you sign up with, and then create a password. And then enter the one-time pin that has come to your email. So once it's verified, you will log into your official community platforms account. So you're going to fill in some profile details. I'm just going to upload the photo, click on save, complete. So once it's completed, you will see that if you have a community, you are actually in the community platform itself. Then you'll see all of the chats here from the discussions. If you click on the nine dots over here, you'll see that we have communities, courses, and affiliates. So if you have any of these, it will populate as well. But for me, I'm just going to go to the affiliate section. So once you're in the affiliate section, you'll see that here are all the campaigns that you have been added to. So with your unique link, and you'll see that if you have any sub affiliates, it will be in this section over here with all the data. I can't Currently don't have any sub affiliates, but if you have any leads or customers, so these are the people that have purchased the product from the main dude. So in this case, Ben Stutz might share the link with a customer who then bought the pizza. So that will show up here. And then here's where you'll see any commissions owed to you or commissions paid plus all the revenue. And then if you remember the media section, if you have any logos that the person who created the affiliate campaign added to the media section, it will populate over here so that you can use their branding to promote their product as well. All right, so this is the affiliate portal that your affiliates will receive, but I'm going to show you now with some real data of me checking out so I can also show you how to manage the payout section. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the account. Then I'm going to go to the side or funnel that we will be checking out from. In this case, I made the funnel, Ben's Pizza Shop. So I'm going to click on view page. And remember, in order for this to work, it has to have a PayPal eventually integrated so you can manage payouts, which I'll show you after this, as well as a domain connected to your funnel or website. Okay, so before we fill out that checkout form, we first want to integrate our PayPal account. So to do that, you're going to come to payments, go to integrations and click on PayPal. You'll see a connect button. So once you click on connect, you'll see this page over here. So what this means is you have to now connect your API keys from your PayPal business account to the actual high level PayPal integration. All right, so once you're in your PayPal account, we're going to do just now, which is make the affiliate payouts automatic. So to do that, you want to come to the developers app, make sure it's toggled live here, click on your name, click on my account, then scroll down to permissions. And you'll see that at the bottom where it says payouts, it will not have a green tick over here. So you want to click on enable, and then you'll see this bottom sentence come up with contact us here. So what you'll do is just click on contact us and then go through the questions that PayPal will ask you to eventually enable this payout section. But once I have that information, you'll see a green tick over here that will set you up for the automatic affiliate payouts, which I'll show you how to set up in a bit. But now you want to connect your PayPal account to the actual high level integration. But to do that, you're going to come to apps and credentials in your developer dashboard. Then you want to click on create app. 
So we're going to call this Ben's demo and say create app. You might want to name it your high level account just so that you remember in case you have many APIs or apps created. You'll see that I have now a client ID as well as a security key one. So I'm going to click on copy then come back to the PayPal integration in high level and click paste and then as well as the secret key one and then paste it in here. Click on save and you'll see that's connected once you have this button that says disconnect. Okay, so once you've added your PayPal account, you'll just see that it says PayPal and then manage. If it says manage, that means it has been connected. So now if we go and we fill in that form, which I did already, and then press submit, then you'll see that the product has then been purchased. The pizza has been purchased. That 30% commission has now been sent to the affiliate that signed up. So to show you that, I'm going to go to marketing and then affiliate campaign, and we'll see the $100 that has been purchased. So the one pizza has been completed. Here is one customer and then commission is $30 and here is the revenue generated. So we set it as 30%, which is $30. But also if you tell your affiliate to check their portal, you'll see that in the campaigns now it says Ben's Pizza Affiliate Campaign it is one customer with a $30 commission. So this is how much has been owed to him. If you go to commissions as well, you'll see that it has not been paid out. $30 has been owed to this affiliate from the $100 revenue generated. And you'll see the customer over here, Kate and Marie any other data, the payout date, etc. All right, so how do you actually pay out the commission owed to the affiliate? So there's a couple ways to do it. First, the manual way, which is you're going to tell your client to go to the affiliate portal and then go to commissions in the top right and then click on add payout method. So once you click on that, you'll just see this little icon pop up where you must enter your PayPal ID. It's always best if the affiliate does it themselves so that you don't cause any mistakes from your end. So tell them to just go to their account click on add payout method and then add the ID. But you can also do it in the actual accounts, the affiliate manager. So go to affiliate manager, go to affiliate. You'll see that this is the affiliate over here. I mean, with the revenue as well as the commission owed. So you can click on their profile. So this is a dashboard page of the actual profile. So any revenue generated, owed, leads, other general information. So if you scroll down to the bottom here and then click on payout methods, you'll see add payout method on the right and you can do the same as the affiliate would do in their portal. It's always best if they do it themselves again because you would have to come here manually one by one and go through all your affiliates and then get the paper ID from your affiliates and then go back to the account and do the step. So it's much easier to tell them to just go do it themselves and add it in their portal. I'm just going to connect my PayPal account here. So I'm going to add it, click done, and you'll see that it is now ready for payouts. Also, I don't believe that there's an automation where you can pull the email from the form and then put it into the payout section for the affiliates. I don't know if High Level did this on purpose because usually when you have your PayPal account, it is not the same one as the one that they sign up to become an affiliate with. So that prevents a whole bunch of clashes. I think that's the reason, but if it's not the reason, then I'm sure the feature's coming out soon or that they'll work on it at least. So if I go back to Affiliate Manager, then Payout, this is how you can do it manually. You'll see that once the affiliate ID or affiliate email has been added, or the payout method has been added, again, through the portal or by doing it manually yourself, then you can see a approve for payout blue button on the side. If it hasn't been connected, you'll still see this, but then when you click on it, it will say connect your affiliate's PayPal account, which you can do as well. And if you click on the three dots, you can also see view commissions. You can see more details of that sale as well. Once you click on approve for payout, it will be moved to the approve for payout section, which then you can eventually come to this blue button and click on pay. So once you click on pay, you'll just have a confirmation then you'll just click on person and then click on pay now so you'll see here it has a red banner that says payouts not enabled in paypal so this is that step that i showed you earlier which is if you come to your developers app you'll see that this has not been enabled yet that's why you must make sure that this tick is ticked by clicking enable and then starting the conversation with, with paypal themselves so once that is approved then you can actually do this payout method by just click on pay now this will not be there and it will be paid to your affiliate once it has been paid it will be moved to paid and then you'll see that it has been paid out here. So the $30 has been sent to the affiliate and then your $100 is now $70 for your 
piece of product. All right, so if you want to do a bulk payout, let's say you have many contacts down here that, or many affiliates down here that you owe commission to. So you can just click on this arrow here and it will select all of them here. I just have one contact now, but you'll just click on that or manually click on the ones that you want to do. And then you can click on the button at the top here, which is pay. Then the same window will appear over here with all of the affiliates. You'll just click on all the affiliates and then click on pay as well. Again, I can't do it now because I haven't enabled that section but you'll just do that in the PayPal developers app. So if you remember when you're setting up the actual campaign, you had the option to set the payout terms for 15, 30, and 60. So what this means is that the affiliate manager administrator can choose to pay 15, 30, or 60 days after the sale has occurred. So this allows for sufficient time for the administrator to deny any commissions if the subscription gets canceled, for instance. So that's the reason for those three payout options. I don't believe that it is possible to automate the thing fully from the net term set. I saw in the Facebook group that one of the people from the high-level team saying that right now to prevent human errors, we have one-step verification where if all things are confirmed, Figured correctly, you have to click on the pay now button and then the rest will be handled by high level and PayPal. It is semi fully automated, if that makes sense. But then that's how you automate the payouts for your affiliate campaign. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that detailed tutorial. If you have any future tutorials that you want us to do, just let us know in the comments and we'll try and get that done. And if you are trying to master high level in 90 minutes, then check out Keaton's how to master high level in 90 minute video, where he goes into the depths of everything you need to know to set it up for your business or for your clients. So go check that out if you want more information and I'll see you next time.